Amid the ongoing online skirmish, Google's AI marvel Gemini found itself at the heart of a heated debate. This tech sensation, akin to the widely known ChatGPT, landed smack dab in the middle of the left versus right cultural and political clash. Gemini, Google's brainchild, boasts a repertoire that spans textual queries and image generation based on textual cues. It's a potent tool in the digital landscape. The uproar began with a viral revelation. A freshly minted image from Gemini showcased the US founding fathers, albeit with a historically inaccurate inclusion, a black man. The internet erupted in response to this unexpected twist. Well, there's a lot of humor. Look, in their quest to be inclusive, Laura, random races started to being imposed on historic figures. For instance, when you type in founding fathers, this is what Washington looked like. Uh, do you, do you want to see a pope? How about this? Mm. How about a Roman emperor? Oh. How about a Roman emperor or an astronaut? Uh, now. This is just the result of the info Google put into the robot lore, which is an attempt to promote diversity, okay? This is Jin Janai. She oversees Google's AI Responsibility Initiative. Oh. I think it's okay to talk about things that you've made mistakes in because we will make mistakes. When we're trying to be good allies, when we're trying to be anti-racist, we will make mistakes. The point is, though, to keep trying, to keep educating yourself and getting better day to day. Following the uproar, Gemini found itself embroiled in another controversy. This time, the AI generated images of two German soldiers, a scene marred by inaccuracies. A black man and an Asian woman stood among them. In response to the mounting criticism, Google swiftly issued an apology. They promptly halted Gemini's operations, acknowledging their misstep in a candid blog post where they admitted to missing the mark. In all of these images, <laughs> um, but the representation is in the present and in the past doesn't include white people or straight people. <laughs> in fact, when people asked to see Nazi soldiers, they were Asian women and Native Americans. It's a heck of a story, and you know, I hate to... Continuing its turbulent journey, Gemini stumbled into yet another controversy, this time through its textual responses. In a baffling turn of events, the AI proclaimed that there existed no right or wrong answer to a perplexing query. Whether Elon Musk sharing memes on X was more egregious than Hitler's genocidal atrocities. Furthermore, when confronted with the ethical dilemma of misgendering Caitlyn Jenner to prevent a nuclear apocalypse, Gemini unequivocally denounced such an act as unacceptable, asserting it would never condone it. In an unexpected twist, Caitlyn Jenner herself weighed in on the matter, expressing her openness to being misgendered in that kind of circumstance. Elon Musk, sharing his thoughts on his own platform X, expressed deep concern over Gemini's responses, considering its integration into various Google products used by billions worldwide. Inquiring about Google's response, I received a prolonged silence before being informed that the company had no comment. It seems the public relations team is facing a challenging time. Internally, Google's CEO Sundar Pichai addressed the issue head-on in a memo, acknowledging that Gemini's responses have caused offence and displayed bias. He labelled this as completely unacceptable and assured that teams are diligently working to rectify the situation, emphasising their commitment to resolving the problem around the clock. In its quest to address bias, the tech giant inadvertently stumbled into another quagmire, an output that strains so hard to be politically correct that it veers into the realm of absurdity. This dilemma finds its roots in the vast swathes of data upon which AI tools are trained. Much of this data is sourced from the internet, a repository rife with biases. For instance, images of doctors tend to depict men, while those of cleaners often portray women. AI algorithms trained on such data have blundered embarrassingly in the past, perpetuating stereotypes like associating high-powered jobs exclusively with men 
or failing to recognize black faces as human. Moreover, historical narratives, predominantly authored by men, have marginalized women's contributions, creating a skewed portrayal of the past. Google's attempt to counteract this bias by instructing Gemini to eschew assumptions has, ironically, backfired. The intricacies of human history and culture elude simplistic categorization, presenting a challenge for machines devoid of instinctual understanding. Without explicit programming to discern nuances, AI tools like Gemini struggle to grasp that historical figures like Nazis and founding fathers were not of diverse ethnic backgrounds. The failure to encode such distinctions underscores the complexity of bridging the gap between human understanding and machine learning. Demis Hassabis, co-founder of DeepMind, the AI firm under Google's umbrella, expressed optimism that rectifying the image generator would be a matter of weeks. However, contrary views from AI experts suggest a more challenging road ahead. Dr. Sasha Lucioni, a research scientist at Hugging Face, emphasized the absence of a straightforward solution due to the inherent subjectivity in determining desired outputs. She noted ongoing efforts within the AI ethics community to grapple with such complexities, proposing potential solutions like user input on diversity preferences. Yet, she cautioned against the pitfalls of this approach. Professor Alan Woodward from Surrey University echoed these sentiments, highlighting the likelihood of deeply ingrained issues within the training data and algorithms. Undoing these complexities, he suggested, poses a formidable challenge. Woodward emphasized the enduring necessity of human oversight in systems where outputs hold significant weight, underscoring the inherent limitations of relying solely on automated processes. Since its inception as BARD, Google's AI project, now known as Gemini, has been met with palpable apprehension. Despite the roaring success of its counterpart, ChatGPT, Gemini's debut was notably subdued. I recall attending one of the most low-key launches, a solitary Zoom call with a couple of Google executives eager to temper expectations by highlighting its limitations. However, even this cautious approach stumbled. It surfaced that Bard had inaccurately responded to a space-related query in its own promotional materials, adding to the growing unease surrounding its rollout. Across the tech landscape, observers seem puzzled by the unfolding saga. The entire sector grapples with similar challenges. Rosie Campbell, policy manager at OpenAI, highlighted the complexity of addressing biases, stressing the indispensable role of human intervention even after identification. Google's attempt to rectify entrenched biases appears clumsy, inadvertently giving rise to new concerns in the process. On paper, Google boasts a formidable advantage in the AI arena. With proprietary AI chips, a robust cloud infrastructure, vast data reservoirs, and a massive user base, it commands a formidable position. Moreover, it attracts top-tier AI talent and garners widespread acclaim for its AI endeavors. Yet, as one senior executive from a rival tech giant aptly noted, witnessing Gemini's missteps feels akin to witnessing a snatched defeat from the jaws of victory. If you enjoyed, make sure you check out the video on your screen right now. It's definitely something you'd be interested in. See you there.